The Treasury is keen to scrap the planned increases to both the £12,500 and £50,000 thresholds for personal income tax. According to The Telegraph, freezing the thresholds would cancel planned tax relief with the average working family missing out on £250 a year by 2024 to 2025. The thresholds determine how much a person can earn without paying income tax. At the moment, the amount someone can earn before paying income tax is £12,500. It is due to rise with inflation each year and reach around £13,250 by the 2024 to £50,000 threshold, above which people pay 40% income tax, is due to rise to around £53,000 by the end of this part. But freezing income tax allowances, described as a stealth tax because no tax rates are actually being increased, could bring in up to £6 billion. It's ripped an economic think tank. The Resolution Foundation estimated that freezing the rates from April until the next election would raise £6 billion and freezing the £50,000 threshold would bring in £1 billion by 2024 to 2025. The Foundation's Deputy Director, Mike Brewer, told The Telegraph, the daunting task of repairing the public finances lies ahead, with tax rises of £40 billion likely to be required by the end of Parliament. No tax rise is completely painless, but some are much easier to enter. There are good reasons that freezing income tax allowances is tried and tested revenue raiser. It's a classic stealth tax, a way to improve the fiscal outlook without generating much. It would not strictly break any manifesto promises and the risk of voter backlash could be minimized as no tax rates. Tough choices will be made a treasury inside. Who is working on the budget? Described the potential decision to the mail online as quite Andrew Griffith, who served as Boris Johnson's chief business advisor in 2019, also supported the idea, telling the Telegraph, in a world where tough choices will have to be made, the best form of those are ones that are the most broadly a freeze in allowances would be amongst them. The budget will be held this year on March 3rd and is likely to focus on the economic fallout from the coronavirus. The government borrowed a record £284.7 billion from April to November to help fund schemes such as furlough and the bounce back loans. For There has been speculation that national insurance and fuel duty could see rates rise and there has also been talk of changes to capital gains tax but nothing has yet been announced. The government's coronavirus jobs retention scheme, CJRS, or furlough, could be extended again while some businesses are forced to remain. The government will cover 80%, up to £2,500, of an employee's wages if they have. It has been extended three times already. First, it was pushed back from its initial deadline on May 31st to October. The scheme was then extended to last until March 31st following the second national lockdown. And Martin Lewis revealed in January that the budget is likely to include news on the fourth self-employed grant, despite it taking place a month after the grant. The Self-Employment Income Support Scheme, SICE, gives grants to help those who work for themselves if their income has been negatively impacted by COVID. The money guru said the amount people can get and who is eligible will be announced on March 3rd, even though the period is set to cover the months February, March, and April. The Sun Online reached out to the Treasury who declined to comment.